Jeff Bezos invests in brain implants? Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how Jeff Bezos invests in brain implants. Let's get right into it. In March 2002, brain-computer interface expert Tom Oxley met with Amazon.com Inc. founder Jeff Bezos for dinner to discuss Oxley's fledging company, Synchron Inc. That meal in Ojai, California ended with something even better than dessert. Bezos informed Oxley that he wanted to invest in the company. Synchron recently announced the completion of a $75 million funding round, with a portion of the funds coming from Bezos' expeditions. Arch Venture Partners led the financing, which included a check from Gates Frontier, the venture investment arm of Microsoft Corp co-founder Bill Gates, and others. Existing investors such as Kosla Ventures, whose founder, Vinod Kosla, introduced Oxley to Gates, also participated. BCIs, or brain-computer interfaces, can interpret and stimulate parts of the brain and are being considered as a possible treatment for brain injuries. New investors approach Synchron through the lens of making an impact in neurology in an area of need. According to Oxley in an interview, they saw BCI as a future therapeutic. They said, according to him, approximately 100 million people worldwide have upper limb impairment and could benefit from the technology. Bezos and Gates aren't the only Silicon Valley titans to have invested in Synchron. Neuralink's former president Max Hodak did so earlier this year. According to Reuters, Musk approached Synchron in August in an attempt to strike a deal, but nothing came of it. Synchron's total funding now stands at $145 million. According to research firm PitchBook, this puts it behind Elon Musk's Neuralink Corp and Max Hodak's Science Corp in terms of fundraising, but far ahead of most other BCI companies. Given the cost of advancing BCIs through the US Food and Drug Administration approval process, this is an important ranking. In another December Reuters report, sources said Musk was frustrated with Neuralink's slow progress and told employees to imagine they had bombs strapped to their heads as a motivational tactic. Another nod to Elon, who is still writing the book on persuasive management style. Musk recently stated that the company intends to conduct the first inhuman implant within the next six months. Neuralink reportedly faced an animal welfare investigation by the US Department of Agriculture Inspector General shortly after a show-and-tell event. Also, despite the fact that Neuralink has been testing its implant technology on non-humans for several years, it is still lagging behind Synchron in terms of development. Bezos's interest in Synchron coincides with reports that he has invested in biotechnology that could be used to make people younger, such as Altos Labs anti-aging products. The Switch device from Synchron aims to help paralyzed people communicate by allowing them to control computer cursors with their minds. The Switch BCI from Synchron is implanted in a blood vessel on the surface of the brain's motor cortex via a minimally invasive procedure that threads the device up the jugular vein to the brain. Once implanted, it can detect and wirelessly transmit what Synchron calls motor intent from the brain, allowing people with severe paralysis to use hands-free, point-and-click technology to control computers and smartphones. The Series C investment, led by Arch Venture Partners, brings Synchron's total raise since inception to $145 million. The funding will help the company accelerate device development and fund a critical clinical trial. An ongoing clinical trial called Command is evaluating the device's impact on daily tasks such as texting, emailing, online shopping and telehealth services. Synchron received breakthrough device designation from the FDA in August 2020 and an investigational device exemption in July 2021. Human clinical trials are also underway in Australia and the University of Melbourne recently participated in a fundraising round. In a recent article in the New York Times on CBIs including Musk's Neuralink, Kristen Well, a University of Colorado neuroscientist, noted that device makers will have to surmount the challenge of operating electronics for years in the soggy milieu of the brain, and will have to prove that the device doesn't generate heat or current that unduly injures the delicate brain tissue. In a six-person US feasibility trial, the company has already enrolled three patients and implanted the device into two of them. Oxley anticipates that the remaining patients will enroll and receive their implants in the coming months. Doctors will monitor them for a year and report back to the FDA on their findings. Synchron was granted breakthrough status by the FDA two years ago, allowing it to go through a more streamlined approval process. The next big goal for the founder is to launch an FDA pivotal trial, which is required for the switch to be eligible for Medicare and insurance coverage. Winning the eligibility would put the company on the road to future revenue, according to PitchBook. Investors had a burst of enthusiasm for BCI startups in 2021, with 49 deals attracting $568 million in investment. 
This year, that number has dropped to 37 deals, totaling $263 million in funding as of November 28, but it remains the second highest since 2015. Unlike many other BCI companies' proposed devices, which typically involve various types of brain surgery, Synchron system is implanted into the jugular vein in a procedure similar to inserting a coronary stent. Its tiny electrode-studded stenrod then travels through the bloodstream into the motor cortex of the brain. The implant communicates with a second implant in the chest via a tiny wire. A transmitter then transmits signals to a computer located outside the body, close to the patient. Arch Venture Partners Principal Ari Nowasek will join Synchron's board of directors, while Arch Managing Director Robert Nelson will serve as a board observer. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.